Hijack is a limited series on Apple TV Plus starring Idris Elba, and the majority of the storyline takes place on an airplane as passengers are trying to figure out what to do during an actual hijacking situation. It's either us or them. And I can tell you, it's not going to be us. The main job of Lux Machina on Hijack was to facilitate the flying of, of the plane for the show. And we did that over four sound stages with a different array and different combination of LED volumes. Those environments were created and then rendered out to be played back on the stages. We were able to create and control the content that was put onto these LED screens and put them on either side of the plane to really create an immersive space for the actors to be in so that they had something to react off of in real time throughout the filming of the series. This is a real plane, a real plane body that was used for this production. And one of those stages was the cockpit itself, which was on a gimbal that was fully automated and was able to kind of react to what was going on in real time. And the second stage was the fuselage, the main body of the airplane, where all 300 and something passengers sat on the plane as they recorded this entire series. If it's all going wrong in the first hour, imagine the next six. We need to get a message that the whole plane. If you were to go and try and shoot on a plane, it's costly, it's a difficult environment to shoot on. And what we are able to achieve with the different virtual production backgrounds is the recreation of that environment with all of the flexibility back in our hands. It allowed us to mimic the environment in a way that you just wouldn't be able to achieve uh, on location. One of the big sets for this production is the room where we are watching the government in real time handling this hijacking situation. All of that London skyline was, rather than being created in Unreal, the visual effects department went out into London and filmed the skyline, got a number of different times of day, and then we play that back at scale. It was a good example of how you can have content made and you can work with it, and the flexibility is there uh, to give extremely realistic reflections within the set. Five passengers on that plane do not exist. It's a network running all across Europe. A scene like this really wouldn't be possible unless you're using virtual production or unless you filmed it in real time on location, which logistically and budgetarily is really out of the question. Another one of the sets that was featured on this series is a room where the air traffic controllers were watching what's happening unfurled in real time. And they do so by looking at a massive LED screen that plays in the series as a massive LED screen. So they're able to watch this flight go across the map in real time, just like they would at an actual air traffic control facility. You need to see this. The plane did, of course. Someone is calling for help. If there was no virtual production technology, then I think Hijack's approach would have had to be shooting on blue screen. It's gonna take way more time in post, and you're not gonna be able to have the live, real-time reactions of the cast being able to actually immerse themselves in this experience. There's no question that Apple TV Plus puts a, a little bit of extra attention into their quality of their products and what you're seeing on screen as a final product. So they wanted to kind of challenge that by saying, what can we do to make these scenes look incredibly interesting and stimulating visually?